Okay, welcome back. This is part three of Let's Play Leisure Suit Larry 3, Pulse, uh, Passionate Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. And, uh, yeah, when we left off, we were talking, or we were about to talk with Tawny on the beach. Uh, and, yeah, she's buying some more souvenirs. What you selling? She asked the peddler. Special uh, souvenir seashells mounted on a free-swinging necklace made of real nuntonite string. Seashells, she uh, surmises. I see you sell seashells at the slimy seashore. Wow. Exactly how uh, are your shells different from the ones lying all over son of a beach? Uh, these are no longer contaminated with the crude oil sewage mixture we call ocean water. Oh well, better let me have a few, she says. Here's 50 bucks. Can I get lots? Sure, here's a bag full, says the vendor. Have a nice day. And you know what? While we're at it, uh, we can go into expletive. And right now it's set for son of a bitch. And yeah, you can just put in whatever the hell you want. So I'm just going to go with fuckballs right now. Fuckball. And yeah, uh, if you guys have any suggestions, by all means, let me know. Maybe I'll put one in. But in the meantime, let's uh, look at Tawny. Uh, you may know the word Tawny, but Allo's... Oh, that's beyond his vocab. Ah, oh, damn it. Damn it! Damn vendors. Alright, uh, more souvenirs. Uh, he's selling some beads and this is pretty much just to hint you towards what we're gonna be doing in the near future um, all right look at woman hello you say to the beautiful young girl in the towel my name is Larry Larry Laffer hello Larry replies the blonde my name is Tawny Wow, she looks even better vertical. I bet she's got a great horizontal hold. Uh, ancient monitor references. Talk to woman. Before you speak, you look her straight in the eyes. You look straight into her eyes. Oh yeah. Talk to woman. Have I mentioned to you that I will soon be coming into a major real estate holding? Tawny says, is it a shopping mall? Uh, and it says it again. So in this situation, she's into uh, shopping, so give, uh, give credit card to woman. Here, Tawny, you say. I can see how much you enjoy, uh, how you enjoy shopping. I'd like you to have my credit card. Oh, Larry, cries Tawny. It's the perfect gift. The right size, the right shape, and the perfect, and the right color. Gold! And, uh, and I think I know the perfect way to express my appreciation to you, too. Come here, big boy. did it! Souvenirs! Souvenirs! Get your genuine Nundanite souvenirs! Oh wow! exclaims Tawny Souvenirs. What you selling? I have some fine Ginsu knives. Excuse me for a moment, will you? Tawny asks you. Something else has popped, something else has popped up. Well, you think to yourself, that was rude. So what do you think, lady, says the vendor. Wouldn't you like one of these uh, fine Ginsu knives to take home as for a souvenir? For you, I'd make a special deal. Ooh, says Tawny. It's a re is it really a bargain? I just love bargains. Most assuredly so, says the peddler. It's made with hand rub hickory handles and a blade of the finest Sheffield carbonized steel drawn back from the hottest 100-year-old oak, oak charcoal fires. 
honed to perfection by a small by small oriental virgins and guaranteed for life or until you leave this beach whichever comes first I'll take it says Tawny does it come in a carrying case no says the peddler but I bet you could thinks the peddler that'll be thirty dollars he concludes well let me see now replies Tawny digging into her bikini bottoms oh gosh I've only got twenty bucks in cash left but wait I do have this nice shiny new credit card Turning to you, she says, Hey, hold this knife for me, will you? Thanks ever so much, madam, says the native, sliding his imprinter over the f your former credit card. It's a pleasure doing business with a real pro. Turning back to you, Tawny says, I'm sorry to interrupt us, my little shopper whopper, but you know, I just can't resist a purchase. And now, where were we? You pause to contemplate her rude behavior. Were you too offended by her thoughtless inter interruption to continue making love with the beautiful young Tawny? Nope. Suddenly you become aware of hundreds of tiny sand crabs that have been crawling inside your leisure suit pants since you first laid down on the sand. Yow! You scream quick! Get off me! Is my love making that good for you, my little middle-aged ma mall man? Says Tawny. Fuck balls! You cry, Tawny. I've got a terrible case of crabs. Crabs! Shouts Tawny. I should have known better than to have anything to do with a local, especially an older local and a pudgy older local at that. As you pull a large crab from your pants, Tawny says, Like, man, I refuse to party with any uh, any guy so socially irresponsible. Get lost, Flacido Domingo. Tawny, baby, you cry. Does this mean we're through? There's no response. Bummer. Alright. Well, that was fun while it lasted. All right, um, so now uh, if we hit tab, we can pull up our inventory and take a look at some of this stuff. This knife would be perfect for slicing if your Ginsu weren't so dull. What the hell is a Ginsu anyway? All right, and uh, Grenadilla wood. Your Grenadilla is hard and black. And some soap on a rope. All your life you wanted one of these. All right, so now what we have to do is sharpen, whoops, not head into the casino. Uh, damn it! <laughs> oh, no! What is going on? Okay. Wow. Um, <laughs> uh, sharpen knife on steps. Okay. You rub your doll Ginsu knife back and forth on the smooth concrete steps of the casino. And, and, much to your surprise, it becomes razor sharp. Without thinking, you hastily shove it back in your pocket. Ow! Okay, um, now, let's, uh, carve wood. Okay. You use your razor sharp Ginsu knife to carefully carve the precious Grenadilla wood uh, into what you hope will be accepted as a primitive island native sculpture. And we were successful. Erotic sculpture. You've always had you've always been a true admirer of the African primitive school of sculpture. Wow. Okay. Um, now we can head back in this direction and grab one more thing. <coughs> now we're going up and to the right, I believe. Yes. And there's a bunch of grass here, but let's look. You are just outside of Nundanite's famous strip tease joint, Chippendales. A large cliff mostly prevents your passage to the west. 
in the center of this area is a large clump of, clump of island grass. There's a sign on the door. Okay, uh, let's read sign. Chippendale is none tonight's finest adult entertainment. Closed. And just before, as we're running out of time, let's uh, cut grass with knife. Okay. Your razor sharp Ginsu knife slices through the blades of grass like hot samurai sword through a tub of cheap margarine. Congratulations, you're the proud new owner of some long blades of grass. Alright, and that just about does it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and be sure to come back for part 4 of Let's Play Leisure Suit Larry 3, Passion to Patty in Pursuit of the Pulsating Pectorals. See ya!